Why would a talented person run for high office these days? That is a fair question after what just happened to Dr. Ronnie Jackson. As the Wall Street Journal puts it, he was the victim of character assassination. President Trump nominated him to run the Veterans Affairs Department. Leading the attack on him was Senator John Tester, Democrat, Montana. He went on Trump-rated, Trump-hating TV, TV networks, to characterize Dr. Jackson, as the journal says, as a reckless, dishonest, mean-spirited drunk. Asked if he could corroborate these charges, he said, well, we're waiting for people to come forward. Really? Senator Tester should surely have proven or shown evidence before going public and maligning a public servant who had been praised throughout his career for treating presidents, including President Obama. It seems the left will stoop to anything to resist the Trump team. But back to the original question. Who would want to go into public life? Would any of us qualify if we were subjected to the kind of deliberate character assassination the Democrats are handing out now? And if intense scrutiny revealed, say, a drunk driving conviction, or a pot smoking arrest, or a shoplifting uh, uh, prosecution, or a nasty divorce, or a white lie on an employment application, or a harsh word to a colleague, should any of the above count you out of public life forever? And if it does, what kind of person do you think you're going to attract to the government? I often think of Winston Churchill. He saved his country from the Nazis. But I doubt he could be elected to anything in America if he stood for office today. He drank heavily. And he had a caustic tongue. And he smoked in public. How many good people are put off by the kind of circus we subject our leaders to today?